Hello and welcome to our channel where we explore the world of Odoo. In today's video, we'll be creating a new module to demonstrate extending an existing Odoo model and its associated views from another module. If you've missed our previous tutorials, I encourage you to check them out as this tutorial is based on the module we created previously. You can find all my videos on this channel page. Without further ado, let's get started. To begin, create a new directory for our module named cheat underscore inheritance. Inside this directory, you'll need to create a few subdirectories, models, security, and views. Don't forget to include an init file in models directory, as well as the main module directory. This will ensure that your module is properly recognized by Odoo. Now let's create a new Python file for our model classes and name it cheat under for inheritance. Inside this file, we'll define three classes to demonstrate different inheritance mechanisms in Odoo. The first is class inheritance. This type of inheritance is used when you want to add new or modify features of an existing model. For example, adding new fields or overriding methods of an existing model. The child model will still be using the same table as the parent model. The second is prototype inheritance. As the name suggests, prototype inheritance allows you to copy features of an existing model without interfering with its views. In contrast with the class inheritance, the data for the new model created with prototype inheritance will be stored into different tables. The third is delegation inheritance. This mechanism enables your model to have a composition relationship with other models. Odoo will look up to the parent models for fields not found on the current model. Don't forget to add these classes to models directory init file. We also need to configure access rights for each model. Next, we need to create the views for our new models. When generating an inherited view in Odoo, we'll need to specify a primary or extension mode. The closest primary view in the hierarchy will be used as the base and any extension views will be applied on top of it. In practice, creating primary views is similar to creating extension views, but with different results. Let's start by creating the views for class inheritance. We'll need to define two XML files, one for the primary view and another for the extension view. We'll also create new actions and menus for our primary views to demonstrate the difference between inheritance with primary views and extension views. Next up are the views for prototype inheritance. Since existing views ignore models created using prototype inheritance, you can create views in the same way as regular models. If you're wondering whether we can still inherit views from parent models, the answer is yes we can. However, I will leave that as an exercise for you. Next, let's create the views and menus for delegation inheritance. As with prototype inheritance, existing views ignore delegation inheritances, but with a twist. When using delegation inheritance, Odoo will link and synchronize the inheriting models to the current model. This means that when creating an instance of the current model, Odoo will also create records of the inheriting models by default. Depending on your use case, you might want to hide these records on the views of the inheriting models. To hide this on the inheriting models, we need to modify the inheriting models and the actions which call the inheriting models views to filter out these records. Lastly, don't forget to add these view files to the manifest file. As shown here, before we install this module, classcheat.basic has five fields. Let's install our new module. We can see here the list view shows only the modification from the extension view. On the other hand, the new primary view shows both the date time field and the flowed field. When we override a method on the child class, the parents method won't run unless we call it with the super method inside the new method. As mentioned earlier, adding new record to a class which created with prototype inheritance won't affect the parent data since the record is stored in a different table. But it's not the case for delegation inheritance records from delegation inheritances will affect the parent tables. And unless we filter it, the parents' views will show these records.
That concludes today's video. We'll explore more techniques and tools for Odoo development in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on my experiments and tutorials.